Hi, this is Samir. I'm the developer of Divot Plants and Effects, and I would like to show you just uh, a new tutorial about some stuff, some interesting things. Uh, well, I would say most users forget about or simply don't think about them um, when trying to work with the fluids, um, but which are very helpful and good uh, workflow helpers. Um, well, and I have a custom uh, interface set up here uh, that I stored at as Dipit user here in <coughs> Cinema 4D. But well, okay, let's just create a liquid setup here to create some liquid in this container that we see here. And uh, the first thing that is very useful is, for example, when I'm working with a well, higher resolution, let's say 100, 100, 100, and I play simulation, okay, that's a little slower now, and let's just try something else, um, when I now increase this radius and now try to move the thing, well, it as we are at frame zero, it always tries to reinitialize. Uh, the initial state of the simulation as we are changing our emitters or obstacles or whatever. So um, this will make the thing really slow. So what we can do actually to in order to change that or to um, f work faster or setting up uh, something faster without the liquid solver to initialize all the time. First of all, we could of course turn off the liquid solver but it will also turn off the display or the drawing of the container and all the stuff. Uh, so, um, and I don't see my generator shape anymore, so that's no real option. All right, um, the next thing we could do is we could switch to frame one and in frame one, it will not uh, try to reinitialize all the thing, uh, just does nothing. <clears throat> Uh, because it's still the same frame and it's not the start frame. Uh, that's of course a nice way if we are working with a very simple setup, but imagine you have a really complex setup where you have uh, a re really huge um, resolution and you don't want to wait even for uh, the first frame to calculate because it might take a little longer, let's say a frame takes a minute or something if we also have a masher and all that stuff so it's not really a good option though it is an option but in the latest version we also have now this button called simulation on off um, we find it actually here in the dipit particles of fluids uh, sub menu we find it here but I just have put it into my layout so what I can do now is actually turn the simulation off and any solver that is in the scene uh, will not uh, recalculate anything anymore. It just stops working as if we would have uh, turned it off. But we can still see all the stuff, etc. So it's like going to the first frame. Um, and now we have uh, the freedom to set our things up and move things around without it. Uh, trying to recalculate anything so it's pretty fast now and well that's uh, just a great way to work uh, to enhance your workflow and but you just have to take care of uh, turn it in off, uh, turn it off uh, on again once you have turned it off otherwise it won't calculate anything right so and now we can go on and do our stuff with our simulation. All right, the next thing is um, we have the, <clears throat> when we have a simulation set up and we want to cache it, we, well, have several uh, things to do. We gotta go to the save mode. We gotta set something here, what we want to cache. Actually, when we're working with liquids, it already has the fluid and the particles. The most important things uh, of the simulation uh, activated for the caching. Um, when this happens uh, during the rendering only. So uh, we also need to select the cache folder now. 
which I could do now here, but which I won't do now. <laughs> uh, I want to show you how it works much faster because once you create a liquid solver, you could simply just click on start caching here and it will then uh, open that select cache folder anyway. And um, well, I could just uh, create a new folder now here and uh, create a cache folder. Then I click OK and it will immediately also start the simulation now. So playing um, uh, the timeline and um, set this to this so it is caching now inside the editor um, by using the uh, resolution of the editor uh, so you want to set this first uh, the to the final resolution and then simply start caching and well it just does so and you can see the progress uh, down here and once it stopped it will return back to zero so you can go and drink a coffee or a beer I hope you're not drinking whiskey while you're working, but uh, also an option. Well, I think these two uh, quick tips were useful and um, they simply speed up your workflow.